like 50 degrees of the explosive separation can change the momentum of the parts but not the momentum of the system. Nine six momentum and kinetic energy in collisions. 233 nine six momentum and kinetic energy in collisions. Learning objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to to distinguish between elastic collisions, inelastic collisions, and completely inelastic collisions. 9.29 Identify a one-dimensional coordinate, one where the objects move along a single axis before and after the collision. Key ideas. 9.30 by the conservation of momentum for an isolated one-dimensional collision to relate the initial momenta of the objects to their momenta after the collision. 9.31 identify that in an isolated system, the momentum and velocity of the center of mass do not change even if the objects collide. Still circle in an inelastic collision of two bodies, the kinetic energy of the two-body system is not conserved. If the system is and isolated, the total linear momentum of the system must be conserved. Can write in vector formats. P one I P two I P one F P two F comma velocity components along that axis. M one V one I M two V two I M one V one F M two V two F the bodies stick together. The collision is a completely inelastic collision and the bodies have the same final velocity v because they are stuck together. Where subscripts I and F refer to values just before and just after the collision, respectively. Filled circle is the motion of the bodies is along a single axis. The collision is one-dimensional and we can write the equation in terms of colon P. Filled circle the center of mass of a closed, isolated system of two colliding bodies is not affected by a collision. In particular, the velocity com collision of the center of mass cannot be changed by the momentum and kinetic energy in collisions. P. In module 9 to 4, we considered the collision of two particle-like bodies but focused on only one of the bodies at a time. For the next several modules we switch our focus to the system itself with the assumption that the system is closed and isolated. In module 95, we discussed a little about such a system. The total linear momentum of the system cannot change because there is no net external force to change it. This is a very powerful rule because it can allow us to determine the results of a collision without knowing the details of the collision such as how much damage is done. We shall also be interested in the total kinetic energy of the system of two colliding bodies. If that total happens to be unchanged by the collision, then the kinetic energy of the system is conserved, it is the same before and after the collision. Such a collision is called an elastic collision. In everyday collisions of common bodies, such as two cars or a ball and a bat, some energy is always transferred from kinetic energy to other forms of energy, such as thermal energy or energy of sound. Thus, the kinetic energy of the system is not conserved. Such a collision is called an inelastic collision. However, in some situations, we can approximate a collision of common bodies as elastic. Suppose that you drop the...